One day while walking along the seashore, Susie discovered a mermaid washed up on the shore. She was surprised and went forward to take a look at the mermaid. The mermaid was injured, and she laid on the seashore unconscious. Susie had never seen a mermaid before. She had heard stories of mermaids from books. The mermaid looks like a human with two hands, but her lower body is that of a fish. She looked beautiful. One of the mermaid's fins was injured. She must have gotten injured from abrasion with sharp edges. Susie decided to bring the mermaid home to tend to her injuries. She brought the mermaid home and put her into the bathtub. As mermaid may not be accustomed to the environment since it was a sea creature, Susie quickly turns on the water to fill up the bathtub with water to place her inside. Since the mermaid is from the sea, her food source should be from the sea as well. Susie thought. She quickly prepared some seaweed and placed them beside the tub so that the mermaid can eat them when she awakens. Susie went back to do her own housework. When the mermaid gained consciousness, she was surprised and confused. She did not know where she was and looked around to make sense of her surroundings. When she saw that there were fishes and seaweeds, she quickly helped herself as she was hungry. Susie heard noises from the bathroom and knew that the mermaid has awakened. She slowly sneaks a peek through the keyhole so that she does not startle the mermaid with her sudden appearance. When the mermaid became more settled down, Susie decided to knock on the door to announce her presence. The mermaid turned her head and looked in the direction where she heard the noise. Slowly, Susie turned the doorknob. Opened the door and stood there at the doorway. The mermaid met Susie face to face. I'm Susie, and I discovered you asleep on the seashore not far from here. She said, "You were hurt. I brought you home to care to your injuries." Susie continued, "Thank you, Susie." My name is Mada, and I'm from the Caribbean Kingdom. While exploring Atlantis for new food sources, I was attacked by a voracious shark. Susie got so curious about Mada's sea adventures. She kept asking questions, and Mada shared with Susie about the situation in the Caribbean Kingdom, where she lived. As more fishermen arrived to fish in the Caribbean Sea, the ecology was disturbed. As the fishermen targeted particular fish, food had become an issue, so the mermaids were compelled to explore different seas and oceans in search of fresh food supplies. Susie sat there listening to Mada. But she had no idea how to assist him or how to stop the fishermen from fishing. Susie requested for Mata to recover fully first before returning to the sea, as this is the only way she can help. She continued to make meals for the wounded mermaid for the following days. During these few days, they both developed a close friendship. After several days, Mata had finally healed and was ready to return to the water to resume her search for new food sources. 
Susie took Matta to the beach where she first discovered her. Matta was grateful to Susie for all the help. She took a scale from her fins and handed it to Susie. This is a mermaid scale, Mata said. You will be able to breathe in the water if you bring this scale with you. Uh, someday perhaps you may come and visit me in the Caribbean kingdom, Mata said as she swam further into the water. Susie took the scale and held it tight in her hands. She watched as Mata's silhouette disappeared into the water. Come back and find me. Susie yelled at the sea as Mata slowly disappears into the depths of the water. She turned and smiled. With that, the mermaid swam out into the deep ocean. <laughs>